welcome back to Southpaw and the RC Maintenance Series and today we are going to be looking at wheel alignment, uh, specifically camber and toe. So we'll start off with camber which is probably the one that most of you have heard of. So what is camber? Camber is the vertical alignment of the wheels as seen from the front of the car and is adjustable on all four wheels of most of your RC vehicles. Toe in, however, is the horizontal angle of the wheels and uh, as seen from the same position and is usually only adjustable on the front end of your car. Most RC cars, unless you're, it's a very high end racer type, uh, you're unlikely to be able to adjust the toe, but you're not going to need to because it, it, it's not really a factor in bashing cars, especially. Proper setup of your camber on your, on your RC car can make a big difference to the handling. And it can also save you a bit of money in tyre wear if you've got a bad setup. You can wear tyres much quicker. And it also makes the likelihood of stress to the suspension system and damage much less likely. So, proper setup of your camber. Oh, just done that. Just done that. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of gauges available uh, to measure these settings, and they can be pretty cheap. They can also be quite expensive. But if you're new to the hobby and or you're not a racer, or just bashing, then you don't need that crap. You, you, you really don't need to spend money on gauges. You can eyeball it on both counts and it will be absolutely fine. It won't do any damage to your, to your truck. Your truck won't suffer at all. And a lot of this setting is down to your personal preference of how you drive. So uh, absolute perfection in the, in the percentage of degrees that you've got measuring is it, unnecessary. You will need a turnbuckle spanner or a set of small spanners uh, for, for ranging from about three to five millimeters in, in size uh, to, to actually physically adjust the bars on your car for the camber and toe settings. But you don't need to go out again and spend money on expensive turnbuckle spanners. You can do if it, it later down the road, you might want to get yourself one. But at the moment, you really don't need to be wasting money on extra kit. So to set up the camber on your vehicle, you're going to need to make sure your car is completely ready to run, make sure your battery's in there, your wheels are on, um, your body shell's on as well. If you've, if you've got lights on the car and it runs its own little battery, make sure that's in there. You want the full running weight of your vehicle when you're setting up your camber and your tow so that um, the suspension is, is sat at, at, the, at the same position as it will be when you're actually driving the car rather than with the battery out and the body off. It'll weigh a lot less, so it'll actually sit higher. So you want to make sure it's ready to run, or everything's in the car, and then lift it up for about a foot, maybe a foot high, and then drop it. Then drop. That will bed it into its its driving position. It's it, where it would normally sit. Uh, do that a couple of times if you're not happy with it, and then um, once you've done that, then you'll go for your turnbuckles adjustments here. So you can see here the angle of the wheel, the front wheel there. This is uh, this is the tenth scale Bugster. Um, there's no, this isn't fully loaded, so the angle's not going to be quite the same as when it's actually driving. But if I pull the wheel straight, you'll be able to see that's what it would be vertically straight up, and that's with um, three or four degrees of camber. I've eyeballed this; I've not measured it. Um, so, but they are roughly the same. You can you can use a piece of paper or, or a ruler if you really need to. You don't actually have to buy an expensive gauge. Here are your adjustment bars. So these are your turnbuckles. There's a small hex section in the middle, as you can see. You can put your spanner on there. Um, and then you'd be moving it uh, in one direction. You'll be able to see the the uh, threads coming out of the bottom as you tighten up. The, the back one there is for your camber, uh, sorry, for your toe, and the front one, this one, is for your camber. Right, this is a prop tool that I've adjusted to use to actually adjust the turnbuckles. So depending on which, whether you're at the front of the car or on the left of the car, you'll move the turnbuckle uh, forward and it'll add camber or backwards and it'll take camber away. Obviously, on the other side of the car, because the way of screw threads work, you'll be turning it in the opposite direction. But you'll be able to see the threads uh, lengthening or shortening on your on your car. So once you've set both sides uh, by eye as best you can, then that is good enough. And then give it a drive, give it a test, see what you think, and then make adjustments from there. Now, there's never really a time when you would want to put positive camber on your car. Um, I've researched this video and watched um, two dozen RC experts and race actual um, real car race experts and at no point have any of them said positive camber is a good idea. So you want a negative camber, you want your wheels leaning, where's my hands? We need leaning in like this, um, that gives you more pressure onto the, the, the center of the tire so that when the, the suspension sits down and the, the wheels actually move out with the, with the movement of the car, 
the wheels are still vertical and you've got full grip on the on the road. Um, if if you bed them out already, then when a car sits down, you're actually sitting at an angle like that. That's just not going to give you any grip at all. So for, for bashing, you want negative camera because especially in the rear, that gives you uh, much more stability, um, much less likely to wheel spin off the start. Uh, you'll still get crap coming out the back of your car as you speed, speed off, but it'll give you as much traction as possible in the rear. And if you set uh, your camera in your front uh, as, as a negative, roughly to two to three degrees in, um, I'll show you a quick picture of, of Foxy there, of, of Flo, the 10 scale Boaster. And you can see there, hopefully, the angle of the wheels there. That two degrees gives you um, more more traction on, in the front. It, it actually gives you a more responsive uh, steering, and it gives you a, a little bit gives you that little bit more turning as well in the front steering. So front suspension it gives you much more responsiveness in the steering and grip, and in the rear it gives you that stability that you'd be looking for when you're going over bumps or rough terrain. As far as towing settings go. Pretty much if you're running off road, you want your, your wheels perfectly aligned. You do not want any uh, inward or outward movement of your wheels because it will uh, create instability, in, especially in the front um, of the vehicle. It, it will not help you at all if you're trying to bash cars, jump going over um, un uneven terrain. You want those wheels dead in line, perfectly straight. So uh, the, the toe really wouldn't be set. You would just be setting it to make sure that it's perfectly square. If, however, you're a road racer or you're on a hard tarmac, you might want to put a little bit of toe out, uh, just a, a degree or two of toe out on the front end. That will give you a sharper, uh, more aggressive steering. Um, if you think about it, if, you, if the, the vehicle's wheels are already towed out like this, as you turn them, this wheel here is actually turning more than it would do if it was straight. So you'll actually turn sharper in the corners if you give it a little bit of toe out. That works on a hard hard compact services, tarmac and um, hard mud for some of the racing tracks. It won't have the same effect on off-road track because it's just too uneven and, and it won't make, it'll just make the, the steering rather un, unresponsive. Right, so hopefully that's helped you with understanding camber and tow on your vehicle. If you've got any questions and you want me to do a video on a particular topic, give us a shout in the comments down below and I'm, I'll be more than happy to research and carry that out for you. So give us a shout. Thanks for joining us on South Bar RC. I'll see you next time.